All right, so you've added these two new layouts or two new maps to your layout. Uh, one's in the Mercator projection and one is in the Albers equal area projection. So you can see just looking at them, they look quite different. Um, quickly, I'm just gonna show you how to do a few things. So if you click on an individual map frame in the layout, you can expand it and see all the things that it contains. Um, we can add a few things to help highlight even more the differences. So we'll click this grid button. Let's go to measured grid and insert this and see what pops up. All right. So this grid just kind of represents space and distance in this map projection. So this is for the Albers. And we will insert this measured grid for the Mercator projection as well. So this is distances in the map units itself. So meters for both of them. If you want to see what latitude and longitude looks like on there instead, you can click Radicule. So this is basically displaying the geographic coordinate system uh, or the datum that it's projected on over top. Uh, so we can remove the grid if we want to just get, right? So these are the lines of uh, longitude and latitude. And so we can do the same for the Albers projection. So we remove this one and then we can insert the Graticule on here. And so you can see with this one, this highlights how this projection does a much better job of accounting for the curvature of the earth. So let's leave the Graticule on here for now so that we can show the uh, latitude and longitude more effectively. So now you also notice that uh, if you click on one map frame, like this one, uh, you see it activates here. If you want to change the position, you can do that. We also notice down here, uh, you can see the scale. And so if you click on the Mercator projection instead, you see this number is quite different. Now, both of these are really zoomed out. Let's change this scale to something more representative. So if you click this, you get a couple options off the bat. Let's go with one to 100 million. We click that and with the Mercator projection, we get a, a decent fit. So we'll stick with that. One. Now I click on the hours and we go with one to 1 million. It actually zooms out more. So again, this highlights the differences between these two coordinate systems. This one is designed to show Canada or more broadly speaking, areas in the mid latitudes like where Canada is, this one doesn't do a good job showing anything up uh, very far away from the equator, right? It just blows things up. And we cover that uh, in the video you watch at uh, the beginning of lecture. So let's change this to something that's gonna give us a better fit. One to 20 million, let's try that. That zooms out a little bit too much. So you can edit this yourself and say, try uh, 50 million. And that works well enough for these purposes. We'll stick with it. 